Tonight, as we gather for Christmas Eve, as we lit the candles in honor of Jesus' birth, I would like us to reflect on wrapped presents. Wrapped presents, according to some, is an ancient tradition, and most of us keep up with traditions around Christmas at this time. As a matter of fact, come tomorrow morning, many of you will be opening many wrapped presents. It was tradition when our children were little that on Christmas Eve, before they went to bed, we allowed them to open one present. Just to excite them, it was always the smallest box. And traditionally, I would put a banana or an orange in it to psych them out and say that's all they got for Christmas. But wrapped presents, tonight as we gather for Christmas Eve, I want you to reflect on three wrapped presents that Jesus has given to us each. These presents were no accident. They were given to us with great purpose. And we find all three wrapped presents in the Gospels throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. The first wrapped present that I will present to you is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 2, verse 5 through 7, it tells us this. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped them in cloths and placed them in a manger because there was no room for them at the end. The very first present that Jesus ever gave us is what we celebrate tonight. We celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, which means the fulfillment of so many promises throughout the Old Testament and the promises of so many more to come within the New Testament. God with us was wrapped up tight by his mother and laid in a manger. Shepherds came and worshipped. To unwrap this gift is for us to see that God became a human being for us because he loves us. The second wrapped present that I'll present to you today is Jesus' examples, his life. John chapter 13, 1 through 7 tells us this. It was just before the Passover feast that Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and go to his Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. This evening meal was being served, and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. What Jesus was teaching Peter and the other disciples and you and I as Christians who walk and teach and learn through our Savior, that he's always teaching us. He was teaching them to follow his examples that night, and Jesus was serving his disciples by performing the lowest task possible of that culture washing their feet. Jesus always taught by example. He taught by compassion. He taught about forgiveness. He taught how to deal with enemies. He showed how to be a friend. Jesus' entire life was an example for you and I. John 13 says that he wrapped all that up into one final example for his disciples, serving one another. To unwrap this gift, is for us to see that we have an absolute perfect example to follow in this life and in this person, our Lord Jesus Christ. The third wrap present presented to you by our Lord and Savior Jesus is his death. Luke chapter 23, verse 46 through 53 tells us this. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely 
This was a righteous man. When all the people who had gathered to witness this sight saw what took place, they beat their breast and went away. But all those who knew him, including the woman who had followed him from the Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. Now there was a man named Joseph, a member of the council, a good and upright man, who had not consented to their decision and action. He came and he was waiting for the kingdom of God. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. He took down the body and wrapped it in linen cloth and placed it in a tomb, cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. This final present is a culmination of the other two. You see, Jesus was born for a purpose and was not an accident or an afterthought. Jesus was our perfect example for a purpose. We see the relevance of these other two rap gifts in that Jesus died for you and I. John 3.16 tells us that Jesus died that we might have eternal life. Jesus physically died in his physical death. His body had to be wrapped and put in a tomb. He paid for our sins with his life. To unwrap this present, to unwrap this gift, <coughs> is for us to accept that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and he has offered eternal life to you and I. We find all three presents wrapped within the gospel. We find the wrapped baby in a manger full of promise. We find Jesus wrapping himself in perfect examples for us to treat others and how to be with others including even our own enemies. And we find Jesus' body taken upon our sins, upon himself, wrapped for us, so that we may have everlasting life and forgiveness of all of our sins, past, present, and future. There is no better wrapped gift than the three that you just received from our Lord Jesus Christ. You can't put a price tag on those. No matter what you purchase today, no matter what you receive tomorrow, no matter what presents you open, these three presents have eternity attached to them. They have life everlasting attached to them. These three presents will forgive you of all your sins and to know that from this day on, you'll have eternal life after this life.